Now that you have an idea of what a sheet set is, let's look at creating one. Now there are several ways to go about creating a sheet set. One is from scratch and one is from a template, and another is just from grabbing existing drawings. Either method is fine. It just depends on the situation and your current need. In fact, you're going to find out that you're going to use a combination of these during the life of your project. If you have drawings already made to make a new sheet set, then just import the layouts as sheets. So start your sheet set manager. And there's nothing here when you first start it. So you need to either go to a recent one or make a new one or open one. Well, we're going to make a new one. So we click new. And you have this wizard that comes up and it helps you. Now you can just go to existing drawings or you can go to an example sheet set, which is essentially a template. It just opens up another sheet set and you can add more drawings to it. What we want to do in this example is just add existing drawings. Whichever way you go, it really doesn't matter. You can always get to the final sheet set that you need either way. Opening up an existing example sheet set just means that it will already have the custom properties set up in it. So this is a good idea to use whenever you're going to start a new project. Create a template file just like you would for your AutoCAD files and have at it. But the existing drawings are pretty easy. You just click Next. Give this a name. I'm going to call it Example. You can give it a description. You tell it where to save it at. I'm going to put it in our project folder for us. And this just tells you where to save it. You click open, you're not selecting a file or anything. And now you can go to sheet set properties right now and create any custom sheet set properties that you want. But right now we're just getting our files. So you click next. Now you browse to your folder and you find some files. I have one here that I'm going to use it's called annotation. It's our annotation example file. Now, what you do when you look for the different files to add to it, you can just go to a folder. Now, you have to be careful because you can't add a file that already is added to another sheet set. There'll be a conflict. You can only put one file or paper space tab actually to one sheet set. It can't be assigned to multiple sheet sets. That's good and bad, to be honest. So what you're going to do is you're going to browse to a folder and it's going to see every file in the folder. And you can come here and it's going to automatically try to assign it. Now all of these right now have been assigned to our example. So I want to turn all these off. Now you can assign all of the paper space tabs to it or you can do just one at a time, two at a time. It just depends on what you need. You can't add model space tabs to your sheet set. Only paper space. I'm unselecting everything here except for the annotation drawing. Now I can pick just one of these, I can pick none, or I can pick them both. I'm going to pick them both. And so nothing else has been selected. Click Next. Give an overview here of your setup. Everything looks okay, then hit Finish. And here you go. Here's the sheet set that we have. It's real small, real short, but that's okay. But here I am in my file, and if I want to go to the notes page, which is where I'm at now, I can just double click notes. But if I want to go to the dimension page, I double click it, and it opens up the file and brings me right to that paper space tab. Now it just happens to be that this is the same file for both tabs. But that's it. That's how you do it. Now, one of the more common methods of creating a sheet set, or one of the preferred methods, in my opinion, is through a template sheet set file. I suggest that you create a sheet set file to be used as your template. There's no template setting like there are with regular CAD files. You know, you have your regular file, which is a .dwg, but then your template CAD file is a .dwt. Well, sheet sets are .dst files. I know a lot of letters and, and things, and I apologize for that, but they are different. There is no template file type for a sheet set. You just create a sheet set, put in what you need it to have, and leave it blank. What I mean by leaving it blank is don't add any drawings to it. Just save it wherever it is that you save your DWT files and just start from there. You can go about this a couple of different ways. You can copy that and put it in your project folder and rename that file, or you can just call it Sheetset, whatever you need to do to manage your data. But that was pretty simple.
Now if I remove one of these, you just right click on it and hit remove sheet. They ask you, are you sure? Yeah, it's not going to be deleted. The tab is still here, but it's not in my sheet set. Another method of adding drawings to your sheet set is just a quick drag and drop. If you have the file open, you can go to the paper space tab, left click and hold, and then drag it up. You see that little drawing looking glyph there? Just drag it up here and drop. And it says, hey, do you really want to do this? Yes, I do. And now it's been added. That's nice because a typical workflow is going to use an example or template DST file. You start with that. It has subfolders in it, which are called subsets. It will have your custom properties already set up. It will have a link to your template file. And it'll have all the things in there that you need. You won't have to recreate it. You start with that template DST file for the exact same reasons you start with a template AutoCAD file, because it has all of your styles and settings and system variables that you need set up for you already. So I will typically create a template, and I'll start with that. I will create new files, new drawings, and as they are, I'll use this drag and drop method to put them into my sheet set. Once I do that, I can access them, and anyone else can access them once they know where my sheet set file is. Once you get enough drawings in here, you're probably going to need a subset, and I've mentioned them before and we saw them in the other example file. If I click here, go to Recent, I go to the Manufacturing Sheet Set DST file, you'll see here these subsets. This is the main set, this is a drawing, and these are subsets. They'll look like stacked drawings and they have a little plus sign by them, assuming they have drawings in there. And then these are drawings. To create a subset, it's real easy. Just go to wherever you want your subset in, left click it to pick it, then right click and hit new subset give it a name, I'm just going to leave this at the default, click OK, and here it is. Now this is really cool because now I can add new drawings to it. So if you're, say, a surveyor and you create surveys and you're going to need different types of surveys, let's say it's a residential area, so you're going to need like an Alta survey, you're going to need an existing condition survey, a property boundary survey, you're probably going to have to do surveys of each individual residential lot or some of the tracks. Well, you can create subsets for those and you can put your files right into there and you'll always have access to them. That way, if someone says, hey, we need you to print out the Alta survey, not a problem. You come to the subset, right click and print. Or, hey, I need lot 75 through 90 printed out. So you come here to your subset, it's called lots, and then maybe you even have subsets of lots you know, lots one through 10, or maybe all the lots on a specific street. You can organize it however you want. That's what's really cool about it. And you can take these subsets and you can move them around and you can put subsets inside subsets if you'd like. So there is a lot that you can do with a sheet set manager. There are several ways to create new sheet sets. And there are several ways to add files or drawings to your sheet set. 